Hey you guys, it's Zandra, and today is Wednesday, but this is a very special Wednesday because this Wednesday is Ask a Blogger Wednesday. Next week we're going to go back to our normal ask us a question and each of us answer the question of the week topics, but um, this week we thought we'd switch it up. What are some of the most craziest things you've ever done, whether it be dangerous or just fun? That question's from Matthew Lander. Actually, I'm kind of one of the least crazy people you'll ever meet. Um, I'm pretty boring. I think the scariest slash craziest thing I've ever done is back in the day when you'd go out with your friends and you'd be walking at night either alone or with them. Like, thinking back now, that was probably the stupidest stuff I've ever done. Because you never know what's out there and... Like, it would have been so easy to get picked up. Question two, do you support underage drinking? That's from Excel Gaming. Underage drinking. I believe it's personal choice with whatever you do. Do you decide that you want to do drugs? That's your personal choice, not mine. I've never done drugs, and I'm not a very heavy drinker. But I, um, mm. I don't believe that I should have a say whether someone else decides to do that for their body or to their liver. Being an 18 year old, I cannot condone anybody drinking under the age, but I still remain that it's a personal choice. Do what you want, party it up. Number three, do you wanna get married or have children? If so, at what age? Do I want to get married? That is a big yes. I am, um, I'm a hopeless romantic and I've always dreamed of uh, getting married and settling down after I have a career and a stable job. And I don't know, I just kind of see myself as the marrying type. I don't think I'm ever going to have kids and it's not because I don't like kids, even though I don't like kids at all. Um, it's more because I just am kind of scared of thinking of the feeling of loving someone so much that I would give up on my own hopes and dreams to kind of move towards their hopes and dreams. Um, something that scares me, just caring for another human being in that sort of way. Question number four. You mentioned you like skinny guys. Is there a limit on how skinny? What about a guy who's five foot nine, 110 pounds? Before I start, I'm just gonna say I enjoy guys of any size. When I said that I like skinny guys, it's because I basically tend to date guys who are skinny. I don't know, I'm not saying that skinny guys are the end all be all of what I like. I've been known to date guys who are bigger than the skinny guys that I've dated. I'm totally all for personality. It doesn't really bother me, like, what a guy really looks like, because I'd rather know the person inside. There's absolutely no limit to how skinny. I've dated guys who have actually been asked if they are anorexic, and I've dated guys I've just dated some really skinny guys. Crackers. Just crackers. Number five. If you won a billion dollars, how much would you spend on a home, car, um, where would you live? Basically, what would you do with it? Okay, if I won a billion dollars, I would probably put it into the bank, take out a very small sum to pay off my bills, and probably my student loans at the time. Um, put the whole sum into the bank and live off interest my entire life. Um, I would also take a fair amount of the money and pay off my mom's bills and my family's and then from there kind of help my friends out. Um, I'm a very practical person. I think the craziest thing I would buy with my money would be some nice clothes and a record label. I don't 
think I'd be the type to go spend it all in one place. Number six, what are your plans after high school? I'm going to uh, probably be working full time until about December where I will be packing my shiznit up and uh, moving to Ontario. Um, January 5th, I think, I start my college semester and I'm taking journalism. Um, that's also from Cryptex. Sent me a fair amount. I'm actually kind of happy about that person. I don't know who you are, but you're my, um, my secret admirer of questions, <laughs> I guess. Like every woman in the world, I get a couple questions that are a little bit risque, let's say. Um, question number seven. Ever touch yourself inappropriately? That's from Super Little Guy. Um, one, two, three. I'm pretty sure I know who this is but I, I'm i not sure. I have to answer this with another question. Do you touch yourself inappropriately? Question number eight, Canadian politics from Snoochy Boy Cheese 09, which is actually a kid from my uh, drama class, so I'll just say hey. Canadian politics. Pro healthcare, pro multicultural. Democracy is cool, I guess. I think personally, democracy is our best bet. I, I hate talking about politics just for the fact that. I am very opinionated with my politics and my ideas on how I think Canada should be run, which is definitely why I'm never going to be a politician. Never ever. In general, politics is, um, is a wicked game. That's my take on it. It's a wicked game. Question number nine. Favorite mystical creature? Hmm. And why did I choose it? It's from Misunderstood Kiss. My favorite mythical, mystical creature is either a doppelganger or a gorgon. In case you don't know, doppelgangers are the twin or evil self. And I kind of find that interesting where you've got the good and the bad or somebody that looks just like you. Um, Gorgons are probably my favorite mythical, mystical creature um, because Medusa is so damn cool. I'd like to thank everybody who gave me a question. Um, definitely made my life a little easier. Um, and thank you to anybody who gave anyone else topics because we, we would not be anywhere without you guys. We actually reached our um, goal for the year, not really the year, but just for the month, that um, we wanted to hit 100 subscribers. We ended up exceeding it. I think we're at like 103 right now. I'm not too sure. But um, thank you guys so much for watching, and we appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, so I think today, I'm just gonna say high five you guys, GTFO. No, like seriously, one of the questions was if I touched myself inappropriately. Yeah. Like, seriously, is everybody just obsessed with either my badge or my boobs in their comments?